All right, here we have about a 15-year-old African Grey. Brought in an emergency just uh, about a half an hour ago, lateral. Um, all of the parameters look pretty good except for a mild upper respiratory tract infection, but turns out that on the x-ray we're finding tons of metal body, metal foreign bodies in the uh, in the gizzard and, and intestines. There's actually some smaller pieces making their way out of the small intestine. There's no history of new toys, but they have noticed that one of the other toys was torn apart. Obviously, there's a piece of lead or something in there. They also just told me they have a galvanized cage, and that in itself is not good for birds as well. Anyway, we've just given him some more chelation therapy. We're going to uh, repeat that dose again a few times tonight if we can. In the morning, hopefully, we'll be strong enough to where we can actually go in and do some foreign body removal. But uh, for now, we're just really weak and not very happy with life. Oh, tell me how much you hate me. I want to hear it right now. Hey. Hey. Okay, you gonna be strong? You gonna hang in there? Alright. Hey little buddy. How you doing? You shouldn't be climbing up there because it's gonna be really, really bad if you fall. I'm glad you're feeling a little bit better. But you need to get down. Yeah. You need to get down. I know. I know. Yeah. You got food on your face. Yeah, you got some food on your face. Alright, you need to rest. This is Gracie. Gracie was in here last week for acute lead poisoning. Look over here. I'm on the other side. Oh, oh, what? What? What are you saying? Anyway, she's doing a whole lot better. She's eating, no more vomiting. She's not neurologically laying on her back anymore. The bad news is while she was here, she just would not leave the heat lamp alone and wanted to sleep in front of the heat lamp. That just makes me sick to look at it. Anyway, um... We're treating her for the thermal lesions as well, but she's actually improved quite a bit. Mom seems to understand, but I'm not happy with the case. <laughs> Burn and turn out. Other than that, later. <laughs> I'm laughing because I thought I said this once before. All right. This is an African Grey, several years old. Was in for lead poisoning or heavy metal toxicity. Um, we uh, She was way too weak before to do any foreign body removal, and there are tons of small pieces, so we've opted to try and get rid of this medically. Anyway, while she was uh, in her, I guess, her neurologic phase, she ended up sleeping too close to, a, to the heat lamps, which were actually lifted off the ground, and she climbed the cage bars to get to them. So no matter how hard you try, sometimes they're just determined to, to make my life a little bit more difficult. <laughs> anyway, uh, she's got some, some skin lesions and some burns. She's still healing on those. It's going to take a little bit longer, you know, to get through those, but that's so far so good. Today we're going to go ahead and uh, get an x-ray to see uh, how much metal stuff has passed. And the good news is her skin is healing slowly but surely. Alright, let's see what the x-rays show us.